welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new I would love for you to stick around today's video is going to be about my experience flying as a fat person if you've been following my channel you know that I just recently took a trip to Jamaica and of course I had to get in an airplane and fly I don't travel often the last time that I actually was in an airplane would have been about 15 years ago when I was 11 and definitely not the size that I am right now so naturally that caused me a lot of anxiety um, not just about like flying as a fat person but just flying in general causes me severe anxiety um, it's something that I hadn't experienced I hadn't experienced it in a while and so I kind of didn't know what to expect um, and that's kind of where a lot of my anxiety comes from also the loss of control I don't like taking public transportation because I'm not in control if you're not somebody who suffers from anxiety then you're probably not gonna really understand where a lot of this is coming from but if you do have anxiety then I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about that fear of not being in control not being able to stop the plane or bus or train or taxi or whatever the case may be when you want to or when you need to and also the fear of having a panic attack in a public place such as a plane and not being able to again stop it and get off or stop it and um kind of decompress if you know what i mean so <laughs> i had a lot a lot of anxiety about it right up until the second that that plane touched the ground in jamaica i was a ball of nerves so flying as a fat person does bring a couple of different challenges that i think an average sized person wouldn't necessarily be dealing with the first one being probably that fear of asking for a seatbelt extender and needing a seatbelt extender now in my personal experience i had no shame i don't i don't really have shame when it comes to asking for something that i need because of my size um but that's kind of where i'm at with this whole like body confidence journey and i understand that people aren't always there so yes i did need the seatbelt extender um i did ask for it before i even got on the plane though i kind of had that in my head that i wanted to be prepared as prepared as possible so i knew that as soon as i stepped foot on that plane and i saw those stewardess I was going to ask them for a seatbelt extender and I just knew that that's what it was going to be. I didn't know if my brother was going to need one or my dad was going to need one, um, but I knew that going on the plane, I was going to need one and I wanted one. So as I boarded the plane, oh, by the way, some of you guys might be wondering which airline I flew. I flew JetBlue. I've only flown this one time in 15 years and it was JetBlue. So I don't really know how it goes as far as like seating and space and things like that on other airlines. I just know JetBlue, I needed the seatbelt extender. So, so leaving JFK airport, the second that I stepped on that plane, again, I asked for a seatbelt extender. Um, I'm not embarrassed about it. There's no shame in my game. You can look at me and see that I'm a fat person and obviously I'm gonna need a seatbelt extender. I'm kind of in between a US 22 and a US 24 right now. Um, so <laughs> that being said, I have a bigger stomach and I have some hips and I knew I was gonna need a seatbelt extender. Now, if that's something that causes you severe anxiety, like the thought of having to ask for it, um, I would, I would recommend maybe if you're going to be traveling frequently to order yours on Amazon. I just looked it up and, and they run about $15 kind of across the board, $13.99, $14.99, $19.99. Um, they're offered through Amazon Prime so you can get it in two day shipping or one day shipping, whatever it may be. I'll just show you there. I will leave the link to a seatbelt extender in the description box down below in case you guys need one or want one or don't know where to look for one just for your guys's accessibility i'll leave it down below uh so yeah if that if that's something that causes you severe anxiety like the thought of having to ask for the seatbelt extender i would recommend just go that extra step purchase spend the 15 dollars, purchase your own extender and that kind of cuts your anxiety down by a lot so yes so as soon as i stepped on board i got my seatbelt extender. i asked for my seatbelt extender and they told me they would bring it to my seat so i kept going now of course the aisles definitely are narrow um walking through them my hips did kind of hit i had to angle my body and so so that i wouldn't hit other people or just like kind of hit the seats with my hips uh that's again i have wide hips i'm a fat person it is what it is so that's where it was now i was sitting in row 14 on the way there and row 15 on the way back so i was like dead center of the middle of the plane now one thing that kind of i think helped me out a little bit was that i was sitting with my family 
I was traveling with my mom, my dad, my and my brother. So the way the plane was designed was that there's three seats on the left and then of course your aisle and then three seats on the right. So it wasn't gonna be all four of us sitting together. Um, what it was was my dad wanted the window seat so he took the window seat. I sat in the middle and then my brother took the aisle seat and then my mom was in the row like right next to us by herself and then she had two strangers sitting next to her. Of the four of us, my mom is the smallest, so she sat by herself. Now, uh, the seats, I will just tell you, they are tight. So you're definitely gonna have some over spillage onto whoever you're sitting next to, especially if you're in the, aisle, the middle seat. I would recommend, if possible, to get the window seat if I were to be traveling alone. Um, I feel like you kinda can push yourself up. You know what I mean? Like you kind of have some extra space by the window because like you're not really putting your body on another person it's just kind of on the aircraft so if i were to be traveling alone i would recommend getting a window seat that being said it was pretty tight the three of us three fat people in a row um my dad's fat my brother's fat and of course i am fat so it was three of us in a row jam-packed in there now if i were seated next to average sized people i don't know I just don't know if I would have been spilling onto them. Do you know what I mean? Um, but I do know that since all three of us were fat, we kind of were spilling onto each other. <laughs> um, and me being in the middle, I kind of got the worst of it. So yes, it was tight. We did lift our um, armrests up. And so we got a little bit of extra room that way. And it kind of is what it was. We knew it was gonna be tight. Now there was an option to purchase your ticket with extra leg room. Um, and I think that if I were to be flying alone next time, I would definitely purchase the extra legroom ticket. Now I could have upgraded my ticket while being there, but I kind of wanted to stay next to my family because I was super anxious. Um, and to upgrade your seat, I think to the extra legroom area was only $50. So I'm telling you that it is 100% worth it if you can afford it to upgrade your seat to the extra legroom, extra space area, because you do just have a little bit more room. Um, now, obviously, I flew to Jamaica and I flew home with regular economy seating um, and I clearly made it, everything was fine, but I'm just gonna say that it was tight, it was a little bit uncomfortable. You are on top of each other. Um, yeah, I hope that answered that aspect of it. You are gonna fit in the seat, like 100% you will fit in the seat. It's just that you won't be, you're not gonna be as comfortable as you would be if you're driving a car. Do you know what I mean? So you're definitely closer to that next person. And if you are plus size, your body is gonna be kind of spilling over that and touching somebody else. So <clears throat> I do know that some airlines, if you are gonna be like spilling into the next seat, require you to purchase two seats. Um, it, again, we were traveling all together, so we knew that we would take up a whole row on our own, so that wasn't necessary. If I was traveling alone, I don't even think that it would be necessary for me to purchase two seats. I think, again, I would just upgrade to that extra room, extra space package and sit there. So the seatbelt, the actual seatbelt wasn't that far off from closing. I probably could have made it, like I, I could have made it close if I wanted to but I would have just been really uncomfortable like if I really sucked it in and closed it it was gonna close it did close but no way I would much rather take a four hour plane ride in comfort than be number one packed like sardines next to my dad and my brother me being in the middle and then number two not having the seatbelt dig into me so I did get the seatbelt extender and it made the world of difference I was so comfortable it was so easy to get on and off and kind of just maneuver around now the seatbelt did fit my dad with no problem and it did fit my brother on the way down it fit my brother with no problem either so he did not need the seatbelt extender um but i have larger hips than he does and so i needed it <laughs> um i did get up multiple times during the flight to use the bathroom when i'm anxious i just kind of have a nervous bladder and i have to pee like it's just it is what it is i had to pee a lot i think i peed four times in a four hour flight because i was just i had worked myself up so much um and i also was guzzling water because i didn't want to get dehydrated um and just yeah i was just drinking water and i had to pee and yeah so i did get up and again walking through the aisle i did have to like maneuver myself kind of like turn sideways turn sideways um say excuse me people in the aisle seat were kind of moving their arms like this so i didn't hit them which is fine i didn't want to hit them of course um 
and I just went into the bathroom. Now, the bathrooms are freaking tight, I will tell you that. They are definitely tight, but they're manageable. You can easily go in there. I mean, I'm not gonna recommend going in there and like having a CA in there. And if you don't know what a CA is, a CA is a crap attack, okay? I'm not gonna recommend going into an airplane bathroom and having a CA, but to pee, I think it's no problem. You just kind of go in there, do your business. It's a little hard to wipe because it's like super tight, but you just move things around and you, you get to where you have to get to and you wash your hands and you get out. Now, on the way back, we flew off, we of course flew JetBlue, of course, um, but the plane was an older model and with that older model, I did find that the seats and the seat belts were way smaller than the newer aircraft. Um, I don't remember like the airplane model number or anything like that, but on the way back, like on the way home, we definitely had a smaller airplane. That being said, on the way back, my brother did need the seatbelt extender and I did as well. So um, same thing kind of went, as soon as I got on the plane, I asked my stewardess for a seatbelt extender and as soon as everybody had boarded and everybody was seated they kind of just came right over to me passed it to me and it wasn't a big deal at all um they were not rude about it at all on either way coming and going the stewardess were super nice really friendly just kind of there to make you feel comfortable and and the most at ease as you could possibly feel okay so my hair extensions have been sticking out this entire time i apologize it's time for me to get these done <laughs> So I apologize if that was sticking out the entire time, but moving on. So yeah, the stewardess were great both ways. They were super friendly, really, really nice. Just kind of there to help you and make you feel comfortable. So yeah, now we're on the way home. The plane was smaller, the seat belts, we did need extenders to both of us. Um, the seats were smaller and I did run into an issue with uh, another person on the plane. So. This must have been, we probably had about another hour and 15 minutes of the flight. Uh, on the way back, I was a little bit less nervous because I kind of already knew what to expect. I knew how it was gonna go. I just was less nervous, so I wasn't peeing as much, but I did have to use the bathroom once or twice during that flight. So on my second time using the bathroom, I don't know, I can't remember if it was once or twice. On one occasion using the bathroom, um, this was a time where a lot of people were kind of getting up and having to use the bathroom. And so, so there were multiple people getting up at the same time to use the bathroom. I believe there was, on the way back, there was one bathroom towards the front of the plane and there were two bathrooms in the back of the plane. And we were in row 15 on the way back. So again, we're kind of dead in the center of the plane. So we went to, me and my mom both had to use the bathroom at the same time. So we went towards the back of the plane to use that bathroom. While we were there, um, the aisles are obviously very narrow. There was a There was a man in the bathroom, like in the stall when we got there. Um, and also there was a woman and she was carrying like a toddler who had to get through the aisle too. So it was kind of awkward to kind of like, you had to, I mean, I have no shame in my game. So I was like, listen, like you're going to have to go backwards so I can like move in here so you can get by me because there's no way that the both of us are going to fit down this aisle. I can barely fit down the aisle myself standing straight on. So she's like, yeah, no problem. Of course, like she moved back and then I moved whatever and she got through and that was no problem. Now. As my, my mom's behind me, I'm in front of her, and we're just kind of waiting in line to use the bathroom. There's, again, like I said, I saw the man go into the bathroom, so we're just waiting. <clears throat> he comes out of the bathroom, and of course, it's tight. Like, and also there were the three stewardess kind of like in their little stewardess, I don't know what it's called, cabin? I don't know. Um, and as, so he's coming, he's trying to come out of the bathroom. This is the bathroom, this is where I'm standing, and he has to kind of like, turn this way to get out and then go this way. And so he starts shaking his head. He looks me, me and my mother up and down and starts shaking his head in disgust because he had to squeeze by us. I'm like, so you know me guys, like I don't, again, I have no shame in my game. I have no problem sticking up for myself or anybody else. And so I simply said like, what are you shaking your head at? There's no reason to be shaking your head. And this man was already walking back. He turns around, walks back towards me and is like, what did you say? How dare you say something? And I'm like, excuse me? I simply asked you not to shake your head at me. There's no there's no reason for you to be shaking your head at me and my mother and looking at us with disgust. And he, my mom was like, yeah, we're all just get in the bathroom. 
and the stewardess was like sir you need to take your seat and i just went in the bathroom because at that point i had been traveling all day and like you're not gonna test me because i literally will lose my shit <laughs> like you're not gonna you're not gonna look at my body my body is not a problem number one and it's not your problem okay you're not inconvenienced by my body at all at all so i just was like i had no patience left so i just went in the bathroom and used the bathroom and did what i had to do and came back out but this guy was like a middle-aged man and he just wasn't having it. That was the only negative experience that I had. Um, <clears throat> flying. Let me look at your questions. I asked on Instagram if you guys had any like specific questions that you wanted me to ask. Okay, so somebody said, how did you manage your anxiety during the flight? Um, and tips for anxiety while flying. They have Wi-Fi in the airplane i thought i wasn't going to be able to use my phone at all so they did have wi-fi and also they had like live cable so i was actually able to watch the real housewives of beverly hills as i was flying so i popped my headphones the second i got on that plane um and my anxiety a lot of my anxiety too comes with like taking off because i just kind of feel like dizzy and disoriented because we're you know speeding and taking off um so during those times i kind of just shut my eyes and covered my face like this as we're taking off because it just helps me to like really focus on myself and like just bring myself back um so that's something that i did definitely recommend bringing your own headphones so you can put tv on or a movie on or music and just zone out another thing um i didn't look out the window that's something that causes me anxiety i kind of close i asked my dad if he would close the like little blind there and so he closed it um and i just kind of minded my own business i tried to focus myself as much as possible i do take meditation classes um and the meditation leader always was kind of like you know you are in control of your own remote control basically so if you don't hand your remote control to a situation or a person then it can't affect you if you don't allow it if you don't allow it to so i just kind of tried to like zen out relax myself um and focus on my tv show focus on my phone focus on something else to distract from how i was currently feeling um, and that's kind of the best advice i can give you if you have something that you like to do whether that be reading or you know doing like crossword puzzles or something like that bring it with you put it in your bag um and really try to distract yourself from the situation that's going on so for me, that was putting on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, zoning out, and just like not trying, like putting my blinders on, trying not to see where I was, and just focusing on myself in that second and like what was in front of me, which was the TV screen. I did see a question about this too. The fold-up snack tray was able to come down fully for me on my way to Jamaica. So that was on the newer model plane. Again, I did have a little bit of extra room and the the um, tray was able to come down fully. On the way back, it was not. I, it, I mean, it came down fully, but I kind of had to hold it there because it wanted to go up. Um, so I think that just kind of depends on which plane you're in, like a newer model or an older model. Again, that, doesn't, that didn't really make or break me because I could just hold my Diet Pepsi in my hand and just live my life. So yeah, if you do want to get some work done on the plane and you are a plus size person, again, I would recommend just upgrading your seat to the extended package, extended room package or whatever for $50 and having some extra space for yourself. Um, that being said, it kind of gave me a little bit more confidence to travel because I know what to expect now and I know that number one, I'm going to fit in the seat. Number two, asking for a seatbelt extender is nothing to be ashamed about. The stewardess are super friendly, super nice, super helpful. Just bring it to you. I don't really concern myself with the opinion of others, so I didn't really even notice anyone giving me any dirty looks or anything like that, except that one man. Um, and I kind of just handled that how I would usually handle it if I got a negative reaction from somebody in person. Um, so yeah it kind of gave me the confidence to realize like okay you could do this <laughs> um that being said i do have another uh trip planned for september we're going to portugal me and dan who's my boyfriend if you guys didn't know um but with this whole like coronavirus thing i don't really know if i don't really know what's gonna happen from now until then with like traveling and stuff like that so we'll leave that up to God because I don't really know what's going on. Um, but I hope I answered all your guys' questions. I hope that makes you feel a little bit more confident that you will fit in the seat. Asking for a seatbelt extender is nothing to be ashamed about. It's not a big deal. They don't make it a big deal. 
it's literally just like asking for a glass of water it's not it's nothing um but i love you guys i hope you enjoyed and if you have any more questions leave them in the comment section down below i'll talk to you soon